typical desktop here and we're in Windows XP so things may be a little bit different if you have a different OS but it's going to be you know it's going to be basically the same and uh, what Steve's talking about is there's a program called Windows Explorer that's built into every copy of Microsoft Windows uh, easiest way to go is click start go to all programs and then you should go to accessories and you'll see Windows Explorer and what this does is it lets you explore your hard drive. On the left, on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see this folders. Uh, and this has kind of got the layout of your hard drive. And what Windows XP does is it puts some, some more common things, shortcuts to them. So you've got my documents right here, which is the most popular place for things to be stored. Most of your documents that you've typed up in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, most of your pictures, all that kind of stuff, unless you've told it to go somewhere else, should be in my documents. Um, but it's a good idea to have a general understanding of how the general structure of your hard drive is laid out anyway. Uh, if you click on my computer, you'll have a C drive and you may have some other drives, but m m your data is probably going to be on drive C. And you can see all the stuff on there. But the easiest thing to do is if you have a My Documents icon there, that's probably where your stuff is going to be. Um, Let's say you've put some stuff on your desktop. It's important to understand where all those, you know, where the My Documents folder is and where the desktop is. Uh, if, Windows, if you've got Windows XP, you'll go to the C drive, like we just mentioned, and you can click the little plus sign and expand that. And you can click the plus sign next to Documents and Settings, and that's where it stores files and settings for each user. Then you would find your username, whatever name it is when you sign on to Windows. And then you can see there's the My Documents, which is the same thing that is up here. And uh, a lot of times people have folders they made on their desktop. Well, there's the desktop folder, too. So that kind of gives you a, a general idea of where stuff is on your hard drive. Um, so let's say, for example, that you have, um, you've got some pictures that you want to back up to CD. Uh, My Pictures is the folder where you usually have your pictures stored easy enough. My pictures is stored in my documents. So you can either back up the whole my documents folder, which will get my pictures since it's underneath that directory, or you can back up just the my pictures folder. Or you can if you open up my pictures and you have it uh, sorted out into the individual folders, you can back up individual folders. It's just like a filing cabinet. You might have, you know, one drawer and it might have ten file folders in it. And that file folder one of those file folders may have Five more files. Well, scroll file down and show them like 2001. What I was telling people last week is is that to help you find your pictures so that you don't have 10,000 pictures to scroll through, David's made folders. Now show them how simple it is to go back up to the My Pictures folder and create a new folder. If you're right there under My Pictures, you see it's highlighted. When it's highlighted, that means you're on the main little directory. That's like the file cabinet for that drawer or the drawer for that set of file folders and if you wanted to make a new folder called 2008 you just well uh, right click out here I believe yeah right click out in the directory or in the right hand pane uh, which is which represents your my pictures folder uh, go to new and go to folder and then you can name it anything you want 2007 pictures and that's the way, I, the way I sort mine is there's a folder for each, as the years progress, I make a folder for each year, and then I sort them by the month, or by the, you know, I've got the month first, then the date, then the year in each you folder. Can always, you can also, once you highlight my pictures or my documents, wherever you are, is go up to the very top, click on File, and when you go down to New, it's going to ask you to click on Folder, and that's where you give it a name there. That works the same way if it's Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows Millennium Edition. It's just that Windows XP offers all these new user folders, which makes it more complicated. But well, let's now that we've uh, made this folder, let's work with this folder. Let's th have this be our backup folder. 
Um, now all these pictures I have out here in the root, these folders, have pictures in them according to the date. So, let, and they're all from 2007. So what you can do is you can select them all, and that, you simply do that by clicking. And you can, you, if you click and hold down your left mouse button, it'll start to draw this box, and you can uh, draw a box and highlight all of these folders, and then you can click again and hold. And you can drag them down to 2007. You can see how 2007 is highlighted. So I'm going to release it. Oh, they're gone. Not really. They're in the 2007 folder now. Okay. So let's say that this is your critical data, for example, that we're going to back up. Now you may have, you know, one of a dozen different burning programs on your computer. Um, what you need to understand is you can't just right click and send to a CD like you can a floppy disk. A CD is not, you know, by default writable. You have to use a special program to burn it. Uh, it's not like a floppy disk where you can just drag and drop stuff to it. It has to be formatted correctly and it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you've got to use your burning software. You may have, uh, the most popular burning programs out there are Nero, uh, Roxio Easy CD Creator, uh, Sonic Record Now, um, what are some other ones? And that's easy. And to, yeah, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, there's several of them. But, but Nero and Nero's the most common, and whatever the second one you said, I've, my mind just went totally blank on. But me. you need to make Roxia. sure. But but you need to make sure you get the point of this exploring, uh, exploring your files on, and folders on your drive, because every single. Uh, burning program that I've ever seen has its own Windows Explorer type interface built into it and that's how you're going to find those files to make a CD of them. Yeah, the burning software expects for you to go through your folders and click on some and files and to tell it which ones you're wanting to back up. It's not just going to automatically, you can't just type in or it doesn't give you a blank to say, hey, I want to back up my pictures just by typing something in. It's going to pull up this root directory, which is what Windows Explorer does, and it's going to expect you to go to slide down through it until you see which folders it is you're wanting to save. And something else, you know, a, a, a useful tool in Windows Explorer is, you know, you can right click on any of these folders or files and find out the properties of them. And that's useful to get in your head too, because let's do the properties of this 2007 pictures folder. It's 1.5 gigabytes, all right? And a CD holds 700 megabytes. There's 1,000 megabytes to a gigabyte. So 1.5 is like 1,500. So I'm really going to need two CDs if I want to do this whole folder. Now, you know, let's, let's, let's go back a, a step and forget about the pictures for a minute. Um, we're, you know, we're still in my documents here. Uh, here's a folder called the computer guys which is where I store all the files that we you know all the PowerPoints we use here on the show and uh, different information we use here on the show so we can right click on that file folder and do a properties and it's 108 megabytes so that that whole folder will fit on a CD so you've got to get an idea for that because you may have to split stuff up onto different CDs. The reason for that is let's say they're documents if you're saving documents you can save thousands of documents in less space than you can sometimes a hundred pictures Right. It's just the way that the, the, the files are saved. Documents are really, really small file, whereas well, some real high resolution pictures and, and, are really big. And case in point here, this is this file whole folder, the computer guys, is 108 megabytes, as you can see on the screen here. It's only it contains 162 files. Let's go back to that folder that was 1.5 gigabytes that had my 2007 pictures in it. How many pictures was it? It's only 525, which is more than the other folder, but not, you know, not uh, not enough to be a ratio, an equal sure. ratio there. So, you know, that's a, that's a lot. You know, those each each one of those files is a lot bigger. Um, plus, there's some videos in there. And, and it whatnot, would even too. be much bigger if you were talking about music. Now, you know, another thing too, a lot of the new computers, including a lot of the new computers we sell, have a DVD burner, and this is another place of confusion for people. People think you know that's only for videos or copying DVDs or whatnot but the great thing about DVDs is they hold about four and a half gigabytes of data so you can back up data on DVDs too and you know not to play in your DVD player but to where you can restore it on your computer if something goes goes wrong so you know p storing this on a, on a DVD wouldn't be a problem I could store this in a lot of other stuff because this is only going to take up you know about a third of the DVD alright so now that we've hopefully kind of figured out where everything is on the drive and again you know the left hand pane is 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 kind of a structure or file structure of what's on your computer 
And the easiest way to find most of the stuff on your computer, just to review here, is going to go to My Documents. And most of the time, you should have...